Où vas-tu après le déjeuner? So, déjeuner is lunch. Je vais aller à la classe. Je vais passer la classe. Je vais rester à Mex. Rien. All right, and we will do un autre. So this will be la dernière question. Okay, où va-t-il? Il va aller au parc, il va faire du shopping, il va faire du ski, il va aller à l'école. All right, um, end quiz, terminé. All right, merci, merci. All right, so aujourd'hui, c'est lundi, le 25 janvier. We know no longer need our phones for the rest of class, so put them up, if you would like. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, we're identifying and practicing structural uh, patterns. So we've been using aller in the present tense and the near future, the future proche. We are also going to be requesting and acknowledging clarification. That's what we're doing right now, asking, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire ce weekend? Où est-ce que tu vas après le déjeuner? We're asking for clarification, trying to figure out what your plans are. So our language objectives are that we are going to write simple sentences in the future proche. We're going to listen to dialogue and determine the subject verb uh, combination. So we've done our Kahoot. We're going to do our flashcards super quick. We're going to review Ale and the future proche. You guys are going to do a little practice with the future proche. Uh, we're going to do a listening activity. We want to start training our ears to hear the subject verb combination. And then we will end with another Kahoot. Is the verb Ale. What does Ale mean? What form of the verb is Ale? How do you know it's the infinitive? Okay, it ends in ER. Is Ale a regular verb? No. Okay, how do you know? Because it doesn't follow the pattern. Okay, say that again. Okay. Um, Robin, can you add on to that? It doesn't follow the normal pattern. Okay, it doesn't follow the normal pattern. So kind of along where you're saying, because you were talking about, you know. Mm. But anyway, yes. Uh, <laughs> Ale is an irregular verb. It does not follow the ER verb pattern. So if we followed the ER verb pattern, what would we be doing? We would be adding. But we'll, we'll, no, wait, you're moving ahead of yourself. What would you first? Uh, would drop the ER. You would drop the ER, and what was that when you found? The, what's the word when you drop the ER called? The stem. The stem. Okay. It's okay. Um, so when you have a stem, you what do you add for je? Two. Il est un. Nous. Vous. Il est. Ent. Ent. O and T, we talk about as normally with the irregular verbs. Okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and just put this up there. Okay, so um, if we want to say that I am going, what do we start off with? Je vais. Je vais. Okay, now for the two form, we're gonna drop a letter. What letter are we dropping? Uh, the uh, I. Uh, so, tu va. Il, el, on, we're dropping uh, another yes. letter. I. This. So we get va. All right, nu and vu are like a regular ER verb. So, like you said, we're gonna drop the ER to find the stem. What do we add for nu? Oh, it is. Okay, vu. All right, il and el plural, is it gonna use A, L, L or the V, A pattern? V, A pattern. Okay, so, well, uh, the V pattern. So how are we gonna say that they are going? Bon. So when we have irregular verbs, always look at your, what we call the boot, because the boot is gonna follow its own pattern. New and vu won't, but the rest of them will follow their own irregular verb pattern. Okay, so let me grab this. So this is Ale, we're used to Ale, but now we're talking about the future proche. Who can explain to me what is the future proche? Okay, so exactly a just different way of what you said. So it's an action that's not happening in the present, 
because we're not going and doing these things. It's what we're going to do later this evening, tomorrow, this summer, not 10 years from now, but soon, near future, future approach. So how do you form the future approach? You need what first? Okay, what do you need next? Okay, and what will that verb be? Alley. And then what comes after that? Uh, it's the action you're not doing. Um, no, it's still going to be a verb, but it's just we're not doing that verb, so we have to write it in a very specific form. Mm -hmm. What do we say that form of Ale was? Uh, infinitive. The infinitive. Oh. So you need an infinitive. This is the action you are not doing. So what verb are you conjugating? Ale, because you're doing this one, you're not actually doing that one yet. All right, so we're just going to come up with one or two examples. Um, so if we ask the question, mm -hmm. okay, so dema is a good word to know. Dema means tomorrow, so that's always going to be in the future. All right, so qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? It's all in there. Let me learn. Oh, uh huh. So, je vais. Any action. Fair. Du vélo. Okay. Ça marche. Because we have subject, Ali conjugated, infinitive. All right, what did we do when we asked a question in the past couple of weeks? You switched the uh, subject and the verb. And what is it called when we switch the subject and the verb? I don't know. It's a, it's, if it was looking in a mirror, Reflect. it would be... Reflective? Well, no, not reflective. It would be inverted. So this is inversion. So we want to ask the question, where are you going to go? So what's the interrogative phrase, the question word for where? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Does that ooh have an accent? Yes. yes. That bottom dollar does. All right, so instead of saying, where are you going with tu va, what are you going to do here? Oui. We're going to invert it. Going are you where? Ooh, va, tu. Okay, but is this present tense or future pro Future. No, it's not. Present. There's, present. there's no infinitive here. So we want to know where are you going to go. So what's the infinitive of to go? Ale. Okay, so now we have a future approach question. All right, so y'all tell me somewhere. Où vas-tu demain? Okay, dans une phrase complète. Je vais aller. Non, c'est pas future approach. Je vais aller. Quoi, c'est le temps présent. Je vais aller. Je vais aller à l'école. Yeah. Okay, so, well, what, what was he doing when he just said, je vais à l'école? Uh, okay, so what tense was that? Uh, uh, present. Okay, that was the present tense. So, uh, we well, could, I mean, that sentence works. That's a correct answer, but not in the right tense. So, we always just have to make sure that we have subject, verb, infinitive. All right, so that's our little petit review. We already got that. So um, what we are going to do is we are going to work with our whiteboards. Um, All right, so what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to write your own, well, write these sentences in the future approach. All right, so what we have here, we have your subjects right here at the beginning of the information. Behind the slash, we have the infinitive. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to take that subject, you're going to take that infinitive, and you're going to make that into a future approach sentence. So look at the example. What they gave us was Pierre and travailler. So what we want to say is, what's travailler? Work. Work. Good, it's not to travel. So we take Pierre, we know if we replace that with the subject pronoun, that's he, that's il. Ale for Ian is va. So there's our subject, there's our verb. Here is our infinitive, travailler. Demain means what? Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
All right, so what you're going to do is, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. You've got seven. You are going to write the sentences in the future proche. Um, and I want you to use demain with every single sentence, just so you get used to using it. Because that's a clue word telling you that it's not the present tense. It's the future proche. Okay? Give yourself, make sure that after each sentence you write, say, do I have a subject? Do I have alle? Do I have an infinitive? And if you have those three things, you've got a sentence. Well, yeah, and, um, well, and what did I say? What's that website that I told y'all to go to for practice? Okay, well, Duolingo is one that we use, but remember, Conjuguemos is the one where you can go in and do the typing drills with the verbs. I love it. Kind of like that, but it's a it's a different website, so they they give you random subject pronouns. Yeah, so you just type and type and type and practice, and remember, take a screenshot of that. That can be extra credit. Okay. So you've got Cecile, you know first. That's your subject. Okay. If you were gonna replace Cecile with a subject pronoun, would it be je tu me No, because they don't say that. So since they don't say that, we can't use those. So Cecile is a person. We're not talking to Cecile, we're talking about Cecile. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna decide, okay, I'm talking about one person or I'm gonna talk about more than one. How many people? One talking about one person. So if you were gonna use that, you have the singular common comp column, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va. Which one of those would be best for Cecile? Oh. And it's not will. When you say will, that is the future tense. So you have to think of Cecile is going to send to mom. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to ask you the questions right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you some options. You tell me which one is correct. Um, so what time is the future crush referring to? Is it A, the past, B, the present, or C, the near future? What? Oh, let's be nice about it. All right, so look, uh, I'm going to give everybody a point because we all got it right. Okay, um, so I want somebody to levy them up, raise your hand, and give me the answers to these after you hear the question. Walter. What three parts do you need to make the future approach? Robin. Subject, verb, and an infinitive. Right, yeah. All right. What is the French infinitive meaning to have? What verb is that? Avoir. Avoir. All right. What is the French infinitive meaning to? Oh no, y'all don't know. We haven't gone over that one yet. All right. What is the French infinitive meaning to be? Etre. bien. Okay, how would you say I am going, I go, I do go? Walter. Je vais. Très bien. What about they are going, they go, they do go? Wait, we see anybody? All right, Kadeem. Wait, répétez s'il vous plaît. 
Il avait. Il avait. Il avait. Il avait. Il avait. Il avait. Il Oh, il avait S. Okay, sorry. I'm old, remember? Okay, what about we are going, we go. We are going, we go. Let's see, I'm going to call on Sarah. What's we are going? Which one would it be? No, not good, that's y'all. News. News allons. Très bien. Okay, we want you are going, you go, you do go. Uh, okay, Kennedy. Tu vas. Tu vas. Okay, what's another option? Vous allez. 